channel and today I'm going to be doing equestrian DIYs for the very first one it is a treat DIY and also you don't have to just use two ingredients you can use all fruits and vegetables in it also thank you guys so much for 1,500 subscribers thank you guys so 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 much anyways let's get into the video For this DIY, you're going to need an apple, an apple slicer or a knife, a watermelon, a bowl, and an ice cube tray. First, you're going to slice your apple. Then put it into the blender. I did not bl have a blender because our blender broke. <laughs> whoop de doo da So I used our chopper. Once you've blended the apple, pour it into the separate bowl. Now we are going to blend our watermelon. Once that step is complete, you're going to pour that into the separate bowl as well and stir until well stirred. <laughs> Now we are going to pour it into the ice cube tray, put it in the freezer for two and a half hours, but because my timer does not go past 99 minutes, 99 seconds, that's just how long I put it in the freezer. Once that's finished, these are how they turn out to look like, and they are a cool treat to cool down your horse on a hot summer day. So for this DIY, you're going to need a glue gun, some fake flowers. I got these at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them at the dollar store. Horseshoe and some string. First, you're gonna cut off all the stems on the back of the flower and glue them anywhere you want to on the horseshoe. I just chose to glue it on the bottom of the horseshoe. Next, you're gonna unroll the certain length for your string, and once you find the right length, you're going to cut it and glue it on the back of the horseshoe. Please excuse the messy back of the horseshoe. I don't even know what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick DIY video. Make sure to check out my last video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!